Hi, Adam Lancaster here from Webutation SEO and Web Services. Today uh, I'm going to teach you how to use the Google uh, free uh, tool for keyword research. Um, so here we are, it's uh, part of the AdWords products. Uh, if you have an AdWords account, you can see that it's in the tools and analysis. Um, otherwise just Google uh, for Google free keyword tool and you'll find it straight away. Now I'm logged in because it's going to show us a little bit more information. Now I'm going to pretend uh, that I'm researching keywords for my business uh, which is a dog school. Um, so that's why I, I, I'm starting from scratch while well, I'm a dog school so I'm going to punch that in because that's a product or service that I think people will be searching for if they're trying to look for my sort of business. Um, now make sure this says um, your local country, in my case Australia, and we hit search. Now because I'm signed in, it's giving me a whole lot more information. You may not see all of this info, it might be less, and this is why it's a good idea to sign in. Um, in fact, if you don't sign in, it only shows you the word, global, and uh, local um, search numbers, which doesn't give us uh, um, an entire picture. Uh, I'm going to show you um, uh, a few things to look out for, uh, which are pretty clear, but hey, we all learn. So here's the word that I search for. Now you can put in a lot more words up here that you think people might be searching for, so they'll, they'll come up in this end, and they won't repeat down here, so be sure to, to check them. Now, uh, if you like a word and you sign in, if you star it, uh, Google will remember, so if you search for it again, it'll be there. Um, if you tick it, you can uh, add it to, to things or, or, or keep it or um, uh, create a file and download things, uh, all these sorts of options. But uh, explore those yourselves. I really want to give you some feedback on how to do your own keyword research. So, because we're in Australia, that's why we get Melbourne, Sydney, etc. But um, they're sorted by relevancy over here. Um, according to Google. So if people are assuming we're looking for a dog school or Googling dog school, then there's a, um, a very high chance that um, a similar search would be dog school Melbourne, which interestingly we can see there's a whole lot more people training their dogs in Melbourne than in Sydney. We see over here local monthly searches 720. Now treat these as estimates. A lot of um, uh, this sort of research is all uh, I, I like to know, uh, call it um, uh, better to know something than nothing type numbers. Um, Google aren't really going to give us the, the true answer, and uh, you know they're always pretty rounded off numbers, but it gives us clear uh, ideas. Um, what gives us a, a, a clearer idea too is the approximate cost per click if you were to pay for this keyword in an AdWords campaign. Um, now. Obviously, a lot of people are using this word. They might have, which to me says that a lot of research has gone on by lots of other people, because it's a higher dollar value than these other words. So, what are we looking for? Well, we want um, we want something that's going to bring visitors, but we want something that's going to bring relevant visitors. So, if we were in Melbourne, then Dog School Melbourne would be a good word to uh, to to put into our further research box. You know, this is initial research. Um, dog schools, yep, sure, have a go. I mean, as we can see, there's a whole lot of people uh, searching for it, but they're probably initial searches, and as we get closer and closer, now dog schools, um, unless they're an online one, which would be a little bit difficult, um, they are going to be physical places, so you really need to be targeting um, ge geographical uh, areas. So, you know, a lot of people searching for it, still very competitive, it's cheaper, and hey, um, if you're in Melbourne, you still, if, uh, there's going to be Melbourne people using dog schools instead of dog school Melbourne, so hey, if you manage to get to the top of that, there'd be a whole lot of traffic, um, and it'll probably be easier than dog school Melbourne in this case, uh, because it seems to be a whole lot more competitive, um, so competition says high and medium, now if you download things, it actually gives you a, a rating, in fact, hovering over it now, Tells us 0.91 out of 1, um, 0.71. So you can see the difference there by hovering over. Um, so something else I like to do is, of course, 
figure out um, what it reckons are the absolute biggest numbers um, and you know training in Sydney you, you, you could be training seals we want to train dogs you could be training humans um, so it's probably not relevant these are the sort of words that we start going down dog to Australia training Melbourne still not a dog breed or dog training hey don't know what the four dog training is all about but it's got dog and training in it um, there's a whole lot of people searching for it. Remember, this is a broad, sorry, I haven't told you that. This is a broad search term. So uh, this could have words um, in front, behind, and throughout it. Um, if you want to know the exact, and let's do that. There's another little thing to learn. We can keep them both, in fact. Let's relook, research. Now, dog school would mean that people are searching for dog school those two words, whereas dog school um, broadly could could actually be Melbourne dog um, good dog school uh, school Melbourne dog school, and you can see that the numbers are far different. So there's something to not get uh, uh, caught up with. Um, the other area, of course, we've gone over competition numbers are clear, and the approximate cost per click. Um, just indicates here we go dog school training one of the most expensive keywords uh, out of this search now these are still fairly fairly affordable in the realm of uh, other keywords I've seen but um, uh, it gives us an ind indication of what's competitive therefore if it's competitive you can assume there's been a lot of previous research going in so when looking for keywords you want to find a happy balance um, if it's this competitive, it's going to take a lot of time, effort, uh, uh, time and effort to get to the top of Google. Um, but if you had uh, dog school training in Melbourne, it might be a, a whole lot, um, a whole lot easier because we've lengthened the word. Um, I hope this gives you uh, an introduction. And um, uh, okay, but just before we finish, uh, just a couple of little things we can do are. Um, well, we've done a very broad search. We can say, look, I like this keyword. Uh, I want to look for more like the selected one. Now, starred, I've got obviously 109 starred keywords uh, from other places. Now, it remembers the starred ones indefinitely and the tick ones just as you search. So, if we do that, it's going to re, uh, redo the search and show us things that are more specific to the dog school training. Um, uh, as a keyword. So again, hope this helps and um, if you need help with your keyword, keyword research, get in touch or um, uh, good luck with your endeavours. Thank you very much.